Chrissy, uh, itong lahat na nangyayari uh, sa iyong katawan, paano naapektuhan ang puso? In a language that uh, maiintindihan namin, kumusta ang lagay ng iyong puso? Okay. Um, ang nangyayari kasi is that yung ano ko, um, yung our heart, di ba, is surrounded by muscles para maprotektahan yung puso. Yung muscles na yon that are surrounding my heart, magang-maga sila. Parang boy, um, I like in it na para mas maindinihan ng mga tao. Kung naglalaro ka ng sports, dahil mga Pilipino tayo, basketball. Kung natapilok ka habang naglalaro, o bes- nanipa sa'yo, nahulog ka, normally, you pray that it's not a fracture, it's just a sprain. Pero kung yung sprain na yun, nangyari sa'yo, anong mga nangyayari? Mamamaga ng todo, yung sa labas. Yung sa akin, yung pamamaga, hindi lang sa labas ng puso, kundi dun sa middle layer. And the problem there is, my heart has to work. Kung, kung yung sa'yo, normal na kailangan siyang tumibok para makahinga ka, makagalaw ka, gumawa ka ng mga normal na activities, tapos yung heart rate mo would be for a normal person in the 70 to probably 90 range. Ako boy, maglakad lang ako papunta ng, ng banyo or mag-attempt ako dahil sinusubukan ko talagang magdagdag ng timbang. Biglang pag tinest na ako, because I have a cardiac monitor dito sa bahay, biglang ang heart rate ko, 120. May point na umabot na dahil nagtagal ako, na-enjoy ko yung bathtub. Tapos nag, ano, nung nagbanlaw ako, it was 146. Chrissy, gaano yeah. kadelikado ito? I could have a stroke at any time. I could have... Kasi um, I have to relate this because of genetics. Ang lolo ko sa side ng dad ko, yung original na Benito S. Aquino, he was 55 years old when he, have, when he had a massive heart attack and cardiac arrest. He died in my dad's arms. And ang um, dad ko at that time was only 15 years old. Right. And he, that's only two years older than me. And... Uh, the reason nakapunta kami sa Boston dati, my dad had his heart attack at 47, at 40, 47 years old. And um, not many people know, but before Noy died, it, he needed an angioplasty that was exactly five weeks bago siya namatay. So sa side ng dad ko, matindi yung sakit ng pagkakaroon ng Cardiovascular so diseases. So genetics dito, and, Chrissy, uh, medyo plays a role, di ba? I would have been okay, boy, kung hindi ako nagkaroon ng autoimmune. Okay. I, but I, I, I you do that. remember yeah. na we were still doing our dietary talk show. I had a, a big scare because sunod-sunod yung shooting and um, I, I remember hindi ako umabot sa show natin dahil Nagsuka ako na nagsuka. Tapos I had to be brought to the ER of at the time Medical City. And I know that this was the year 2015, ghost month, unfortunately. Um, dumating ako sa Medical City, ang BP ko was 170 over 110. Umabot ito ng 200 over 120. So at that time, I was only 44. So, meron na talaga akong I remember risk. that, Chrissy. Yes. I so, remember that. But it was fine already because I was treated for this in San Francisco no 20, December of 2016. So, I was fine nung panahon na yun. It was only the problema na naman after COVID. Okay.